Justin, good morning. Good morning. Crews have been out all morning assessing and surveying some of the damage. We're seeing the magnitude of the winds this morning. Take a look at this. This is a metal beam that has literally been wrapped around this pole here that shows the force of the winds this morning. This was an office space building. I talked to the man here. He says he's owned this for quite a while. He's talking about substantial damage this morning. As the sun rises, we're able to get a better and clearer look at what we're seeing. This is a kiosk. That is where you order, order, excuse me, order your food at the Sonic that sits right to the left here. The wind just literally ripped that thing off and tossed it right back here on Ellis Boulevard. We are here in Jefferson City. This is the south side of town. A lot of people have been walking and surveying the damage for most of the morning. And I talked to a man. He says, I asked him, can I get an interview with you? He says, no, Justin, I just want to make sure my family is safe. I'll send it back to you. Yeah, Please. we understand that, Justin. The yeah. pictures certainly tell the story. Thank you very much. The barriers are up. We can't even get any closer than where we are right now because police, they blocked the area. Take a look. You can see the damage off in the distance, the same damage that we saw just yesterday. There is a curfew in place, as you mentioned now, as many went to bed last night, likely looking at life through a new lens. So you're seeing things that are, are mind boggling for you because you grew up seeing them and now they're destroyed. Absolutely. Some of the areas that we're seeing this morning, I remember from back in the day how they used to look. You can't even tell it. I actually talked to a, a young man. He says he was riding his bike down here, just wanting to help in the area, see if there's anything that he can do to help out the people that may be affected by this. He says, Justin, you know what? I'm still young, but this is completely unrecognizable to me, and I'd have to agree with him. Many people here in Jefferson City tell me it's remarkable that no one was seriously yeah. hurt or killed in this tornado. Well, coming up at 4.30, I'll tell you what may have saved a lot of lives here in Jefferson mm. City. Again, that's coming up in about 30 minutes. We know several people were trapped inside of their homes. Luckily, we have no reported deaths, but there are several injuries here. Again, a lot of people are just waking up, seeing the destruction for themselves this morning as the sun rises. A quick note, I lived in Jefferson City for more than 10 years. My family lives here, at least my mom and my dad. I called them this morning. In fact, I was scared. One of our producers called me and said, hey, Justin, check on your parents. A tornado touched down there in Jefferson City. I called my mom. Luckily, they are OK. Things are fine. I also called my brother. He is fine. And as we know, we've covered tornadoes before. Tornadoes touch down in one area. You go a mile away. Nothing's been touched. So luckily, it missed my family. It missed my parents. But a lot of people are waking up this morning in sheer destruction. I'll send mm -hmm. it back to you all. As you know, it can be dangerous for a tornado to touch down at night. That's because many of us are sleeping there. That curfew will be lifted in about 30 minutes. Police, they put up this barrier here to prevent people from coming to this damage zone here. But with police approval, we can show you this damage right here in front of the bank here. I'm actually from Jefferson City, so I know a lot of the area here in Jefferson City. Oh, we yes. had to come in early this morning. We got in around 1.30 this morning. We hit the highway this morning. We got here. We ran into some uh, a lot of heavy rain. The minute we hit downtown Jefferson City, we saw the damage. We're talking about trees toppled over, uh, roofs basically collapsed, some awnings under gas stations just ripped to shreds. The cleanup is still underway this morning. This Memorial Day weekend, though, will hit differently for so many people here in the capital city of about 42,000 people. The destruction is massive, specifically in these apartment complexes here on Ellis Boulevard. Take a look at this video here. This is the Hawthorne apartment complex. Every single unit in this video that you're seeing here has some sort of damage. These were homes. People lived here. Goodness, these images from above are really eye opening this morning. My colleague Emma Hogue was here yesterday too, talking to people, some even climbing ladders to salvage their things. People in the capital city say they will push through. We also live in hope that we will rebuild as a community. We will uh, come back bigger and stronger. Jefferson City strong. That's a hashtag I've been seeing on social media since yesterday. And let me tell you, we're seeing the results of that. Actually, the police department here in Jefferson City took thousands of calls from people asking, hey, what can I do to help those individuals affected right there in Jefferson City? That is J.C. Strong. Mm -hmm. We're live in Jefferson City this morning. I'm Justin Andrews, News 4. I think the best way I can describe it is a herd of elephants. A sound Shauna Hunter says was ear splitting as she rolled out the tornado in her apartment.
we took a direct hit. Nearly everything inside the Community Christian Church whipped by winds. So all of our windows here were just blown out. We will walk together through that grief. We will uh, rely on God. This is our sanctuary. Please just be careful. Minister Bethany Embler took us on a tour of the major damage inside the church. This is where we have our uh, Sunday morning worship, yes. And I will show you where the, our cross stayed. I'm so grateful because it's incredibly heavy. A cross still in place as hundreds across the capital city try to remember this place that once was. It is absolutely heartrending, and um, I know that our people will grieve. Uh, this building has been here since 1964 and we still have some of our charter members that were here when this building went up. In Jefferson City, oh. Justin Andrews, this News 4. What, what. Justin Andrews of our St. Louis affiliate KMOV is in hard hit Jefferson City. Justin, good morning. Good morning. We are on the south end of Jefferson City, Missouri. Check out the damage that we're seeing this morning. This is on the south end of town. That is a gas station there. The awning has been literally ripped to shreds and the Sonic restaurant has also a lot of damage here. First responders have been going door to door all night, making sure everyone is accounted for here in Jefferson City. A violent tornado tore through Jefferson City, Missouri overnight, leaving behind battered homes and businesses. There are several reports of people trapped in buildings that are severely damaged or destroyed. All our resources are coming in. We have highway patrol. We have members of agencies that would normally not be associated with a storm, but they're all coming into play. Windows of these businesses were blown to pieces and cars were overturned and tossed into buildings. This gas station was leveled and dangerous live power lines littered the streets. A deadly tornado that killed three people barreled through Carl Junction about seven miles outside of Joplin, where eight years ago, one of the deadliest tornadoes in U.S. history killed 161 people. These are the terrifying sounds people heard as a tornado made its way through Eugene, Missouri. Um, no, like this is an actual tornado. South in Pryor, Oklahoma, some drivers nearly traveled into the massive twister. Another tornado leveled these homes in Adair, Iowa yesterday. A woman was killed when it tore through and destroyed her home. And officials say more tornadoes and flash flooding is expected here in the Jefferson City area. We know that the Missouri Task Force One sent about 80 crews from their team to Jefferson City to assess this damage. We also know some of those crews were actually affected by this tornado as well. Luckily, there have been no reported deaths. You're right, that is good news so far. Thank you, Justin. I'm standing on Ellis Boulevard. This has really become the epicenter of damage here in Jefferson City after that Wednesday tornado rocked this town. Today is all about cleanup. Hundreds of Ameren crews and other workers working to restore power and get this city back to a sense of normalcy. Friday morning brought another round of hope. 4 a.m., Ameren crews rolling in to restore broken electrical lines that stretches for miles about three miles and about four blocks wide um, of, of just complete devastation to our system as well as, as the community that sits there. Workers walking through the wreckage, aggressively getting the job done. Emron says some 300 linemen are on the ground here in Jefferson City. The goal, to get 70% of the knocked out power back on tonight. Emron has drone technology. It helps them inspect and analyze power poles and the damage after storms, they say it's safer and quicker than ever before. This is typical tornado damage. Um, what makes this different for me is this is my hometown, and uh, so it, it's, it's a lot more personal. Personal for Chip Webb, the division director at Ameren, Missouri. Even his linemen chopped trees on their own property to get to work to make sure everyone's power is back on. Uh, I know the people that, w that live here. I know the people that, uh, that own these businesses. Um, it's... It, it, it's uh, it, it's kind of heart wrenching to deal with it at your own at, at your home. There is a chance of rain Saturday. We're told the rain will slow their progress, but we're told it won't stop them. They expect everyone's power to be back on here in Jefferson City by Saturday night in Jefferson City. Justin Andrews, News 4.